What is going on guys, Joe here, and today I'll be covering numbers for iCloud. Now, if you saw my previous video, I actually covered pages for iCloud. Now I'll be covering numbers, which basically numbers is an Excel spreadsheet uh, application. Now if you're not familiar with iWork and iCloud, basically you can work on spreadsheets, Word documents, and also PowerPoint straight on your web browser. So it's pretty nice. So today we're gonna be taking a look at numbers. So let's go ahead and create a new document right here. And here we're able to choose a template so you see here here's a bunch of templates for your numbers but let's go ahead and choose a blank template and see what we get we get a pop-up little window here so now we're going to be able to work on documents or excel spreadsheet documents right on our web browser so i'm going to go ahead and type in some numbers here um there we go so let's go ahead and see right here on the right side we have a little tab that says tables here you can actually change the um, different style of spreadsheet. See there. And then right down here we have header and footer. So you can change the headers and footers that you see there. And um, let's go ahead and change this to two as well. And two as well. So you see there it changed up the headers and footers. And down below that we have table font and text size. You can change the different text uh, font that you see there. And we can change again if you want to resize the text to large, extra large, medium, small, or tiny. And down below that we have table options. So you see here we have a little table and you can relabel this to, um, let's go ahead and name it Joel, whatever. I don't know what to name it, but uh, go ahead and hit enter. And there it goes, it changed to Joel. Now if we go back up here we have cell and then you're able to change the font uh, of that certain cell that you have selected so you can select various of cells and you see there you can change the font so let's go ahead and change this to this font there it goes the numbers change there so you have different settings in the cell options here now we go ahead and choose data you're able to change the data so here you can change if a uh, certain cell will be uh, numbers currency percentage date and time etc etc so you do get the basics of an excel spreadsheet right here and then we look up top, we have a table, we have a text size, shape, and image. Now, just like in pages for iCloud, we're actually able to simply drag and drop an image into the document just like this and resize it however you'd like. So there we go. Let's put it right there. And we click on the image and you're able to change like to a reflection here. We got a little border here and all that good stuff. And you're able to change the settings on that image as well. You can also go over here and arrange it. Maybe put it in the back. You see there behind the, the little cells here. So it's pretty nice to work on a document straight on your web browser. Now this is available through iCloud.com. You can actually check it out through Safari, Internet Explorer on Windows, and also on Google Chrome. So let me know what you think about numbers for iCloud in the comment section below. I think it's pretty convenient that you can work on it on a web browser anywhere, whether it being on a Mac or even on Windows. And it'll actually go ahead and upload through all your devices on your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch. But another thing that I actually just remembered just now is you can actually drag and drop just like on pages for iCloud. You can drag and drop an Excel spreadsheet onto here and then it'll upload straight to your iCloud uh, account. So whatever your Apple ID is linked to, it'll pop up on your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch all through those devices and even here on the browser as well. But as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video. It not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And if you still haven't followed me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, or Instagram, all the links will be down below. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my future videos. I'll be coming out with another video covering Keynote for iCloud. So if you haven't checked out my previous video pages for iCloud, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link down below in the description, or you can go ahead and click on the annotation on screen. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.